October 25th. The plan was to launch an unmanned target rocket called the Agena, and then have the astronauts launch and chase it in orbit, move in and dock. The Agena breaks up on ascent. The failed Agena rocket launch forces a new plan. Look, why not use Gemini 6 to rendezvous with the mission that's going to fly after it, Gemini 7? Two crews, two ships, one mission. Find each other in space. Gemini 7 will go first. Frank Borman and Jim Lovell will try to break the endurance record in space. A two-week marathon stuck inside their tiny capsule. Jim Lovell called it two weeks in a men's room. Now they just sit, skimming the globe, waiting for Gemini 6. It was boring. You know, when you're just drifting, tumbling through space, time goes slow. It doesn't help that Borman can't change his clothes. This suit was designed with the idea in mind that they had to make the astronauts comfortable in order to do meaningful work in space. That helmet gave an impression of an insect. The suit became known as the grasshopper suit. The grasshopper suit is more flexible than a standard spacewalk suit. But nothing is comfortable for two straight weeks. Lovell and I had been up there for 11 or 12 days. I don't remember how long. We were tired. It was a real high point to see this bright light look like a star it came up, and then eventually we could see it was a Gemini vehicle. They came up, and we stayed together. We each took turns flying around each other to see how nicely the spacecraft would control on something like that. Wally Shira, piloting the newly arrived Gemini 6, can measure his moves in inches. Again, it was little tiny, tiny thrusts. I call it a micro mouse fart. <laughs> You've got to have these very slow changes where you don't waste a lot of fuel. They even get close enough for the former servicemen to heckle each other. Spaceflight's first rendezvous is a win. The joint mission also proves that astronauts can survive a moon-length marathon, two weeks of space camping. I don't know how in the world we could, but in that small area, somehow, we lost the toothbrush. We ended up sharing toothbrushes. 